to do your snowman towel, the first thing you need to do is get your materials together. We are using a hand towel and I'm folding it in half long ways. So you want your towel to be long, not, not folded short. I folded it long ways and then I cut along the folded edge to give me two hoods. Your hood, this will be the edge of your hood. So your design will go in the center and this will be along the edge. And then this will be folded together and sewn along this edge when we finish stitching out our design. You also need a full size bath towel. I like the Room Essentials from Target, the fast drying bath towels. These are nice and plush. And Target does a lot of sales on their towels also. So when they run a sale, I like to stock up. You will need a stabilizer. I use a tearaway stabilizer. I also like water soluble stabilizer. I use the water soluble stabilizer on top of my design when I'm stitching out so that um, it helps so that my satin stitches don't sink into the towel. To do the snowman's teeth, the first thing I do is I cut two pieces of fleece. This is the anti-pill fleece from Joann's. I also use Elmer's Craft Bond Spray Glue. I found that this is a great inexpensive spray glue that does not junk up inside the machine um, and also have issues with breaking needles. I give my uh, tearaway stabilizer a little spray. I lay down the fleece square right in the center of my hoop. Give it a little rub. Make sure it's nice and secure on there. Flip it over. And I do this inside of an old gift box. This one is a little bit bigger because it came with a purse inside, but I've broken the sides down so that way I can store it nice and easy, but they'll still pop up so that it keeps my glue from going all over my table. Give the other side a little spritz. Lay your fleece down in the center. Give it a little rub. Make sure it's nice and secure on your hoop. And now you have the fleece squares on both sides of your hoop. I've done the tack down stitch and I've cut out the fleece on both sides around the tack down stitch. I've, I've done both sides cut as close to the stitching as possible. So now I'm going to do the satin stitch around the edge of the teeth and through the center. It's finished satin stitching around the teeth. So now all we have to do is we pop it out of the tearaway stabilizer. I've already done that, as you can see, to make it nice and quick for this video. But now we have two teeth. Okay, I'm ready to find the placements where I need to put the end of my towel. This is how I find where the end of my towel should go so that my designs come right up to the edge of my towel. I already have loaded on my thumb drive, I already have all of the digitized images. So I go to retrieve the pattern and I want the snowman. So we'll pull him up and then I would go to adjust, layout, and you will see the little needle with an outline. The way you can find the top, where the top of your design is, the bottom of your design, the corner, are by hitting each of these individual pieces, or you can just click this and it will, it will go around your design and show you kind of a trace out of where your, your design will go. But I want to find the very center bottom of my design. So I'm going to click that button right there and that takes it down to the bottom of the design. What I do is I crank my hand wheel to bring the needle down into the tearaway stabilizer. That will leave a mark where the bottom center of my design goes. Now that I've taken my hoop off the machine, 
I have a dot where the needle went in to the bottom into the bottom of where our design goes. What I'm going to do is I'm taking a pencil and I'm going to darken that mark up so I know where I need to line the edge of my towel with that dot right there. I'm going to take my Elmer's Craft Bond spray glue, give it a little mist. I folded my towel in half. I'm going to lay my towel right up, center it up with, this, with the center lines that are on your hoop and with that bottom dot right up to the edge of that factory rolled hem on the towel. Press it down so it stays in place. I've already gone ahead and done the placement stitch. Um, you can do this before you lay down your fleece. I like to do, I like to just lay my piece of fleece down and go ahead and do the first placement stitch just so that way my fleece is a little bit more secure, but that's a personal preference. Um, so now I'm going to do the tack down stitch. It will go ahead and it will stitch out twice around the outline of his face. And when it's done, I will pull it off the machine, leaving it inside the hoop, I will cut out around the edge of the stitching. I've done the tack down for the nose. So now I've cut around the nose as close as I can to that stitch line. So now we're ready to do the satin stitch around the snowman's face. As you can see, I've done the satin stitch all around the snowman and I have cut my jump stitches. And I've also gone ahead and done the placement stitch so I know where I need to put the teeth. <clears throat> my secret to putting down anything 3D is tape. The cheaper, the better because it doesn't leave any sticky residue behind. I believe this one was from Walmart for like a dollar and it was a pretty big roll. I've gone ahead and I have placed my tape across the top edge of the tooth and I'm going to lay them down right up against that tack down, that mark line for the placement line for the teeth. I want to get them enough on the line so that they will catch, but I want them to hang as far down on the towel as possible. I've done the tack down stitch on the teeth and I've also done the statin stitching around the mouth. Now I'm ready to put my water soluble stabilizer on. I've gone ahead and sprayed it with a little bit of my Craft Bond, Elmer's Craft Bond to make it a little bit sticky so that I can rub it and make it nice and firm on the towel so that it doesn't lift up and catch on the needle. I'm placing it on because I'm doing the hair and that's right in the towel and I don't want those stitches to sink down into the towel. So I'm just going to lay it on top Give it a little bit of a rub, make sure that it's nice and firm on the towel, and I'm ready to stitch the hair. As you can see, we've finished stitching out our snowman. I have gone ahead and I've removed the water-soluble stabilizer from the front, as well as gone ahead and taken him off of our hoop. Um, what you need to do now is you need to flip him over to the back, and you will want to pull away these little pieces of tearaway stabilizer that are on the back and also cut the jump stitches that you see on the back. If you have a little bit of water soluble stabilizer on the front, like I do here on the nose, you can pick that out with your fingers. It should come off pretty easily, but you can also take a, a washcloth and get it a little bit damp and just rub at it and that will take away the water soluble stabilizer. Once you've done that, you are ready to close him up and finish off your towel. If you'd like more information on how to do that, you can join us on our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.